hello, hello, hello. Oh, Leos. Ugh, Leos. Hmm. You know I love me a Leo, but damn, you all can be fucking hell on a bitch. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, look at this. Unable to leave a relationship that's dead. Just staying stuck. Messing with someone's head. Messing with someone's emotions, Leo. Is that what the fuck you're doing? Ask the powers to be. Watch over me during this reading. You all know how I see and read. Please help me interpret these cards as you see fit. Ooh, I call upon Archangel Michael to protect me as I open up the channel for my Leo Collective. Leo, Leo, Leo. You can't manipulate people's emotions. Yeah. Because when you do, that thwarts your movement forward and you lose your ass. Yeah. Karma. Leos, y'all aren't the cutest ones in the fucking uh, Zodiac. Mm. That's worth it, any movement. You're going to lose your ass. Staying stuck in an emotionally draining situation, you're going to end up fucking yourself in that. Manifesting. Manifesting options? Leo. What the fuck? I need options. Oh, okay. Options in what, Leo? Knight of Cups in Reverse, Justice, and the Three of Cups. What'd you do? Fall in love with the third party? Justice here in the middle. Bring truth and balance here? What's up with this energy? You want to bring love to a hoe? What, what is this? What is this energy, Leo? You see justice in the middle, right? Whatever was done, whatever emotion, yeah, this, this, this. Yeah, you're playing with someone's emotions, weren't you, Leo? That's what this is going to be about. And I'm saying it's you guys, okay? We know how the fuck you Leos work. Oh, you, you might want to come in with love, but boy, you can pull that shit back pretty fucking quick too, right? Because you want to have control. You want to be the one that doles out the justice. Who you're going to give your freaking cup to. Leo, damn it. Ooh, yeah, that's why you're getting judged. That's why you were getting judged for the way you handle relationships. Mm-hmm. This ain't going to go to your benefit, Leo. I'm going to tell you that right now. Male or feminine energy, guys, it don't fucking matter. I'm telling you what I'm seeing. We got a Leo that's fucking around with people's emotions. And you're going to pay for that. Okay, you're going to pay for that. King of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, you know what? The player got played, didn't he? Player got played, didn't she? Oh, you finally want to step into this role, but you still want to have control. I'm feeling that you just need to have control over a situation, right? You just got to control something, somebody. The whole thing, you just want control. But boy, you got your little fucking heart broken on something, didn't you? Something broke your little heart. And now you're waiting. Basically killing time because you don't want to make a fucking decision. But you're tired of defending yourself. So, you know, instead of doing the work here, you know, defending yourself, you're just looking off in the distance, acting like nothing ever happened. And we got threes in here, so I know it was a third party deal. Okay, Leo, don't even try to fucking deny it. But that's left you stuck when the player gets played, Leo. But you're going to lose your ass. You're seeing that now. You're, you're getting the realizations. You're seeing that. It's going to cost you. Whatever you were holding on to, it's going to cost your ass that too. You're going to lose your ass. Oh, I think you see who you want. We got the uh, Ace of Wands, the Lovers here, and the Star card. That's why you're heartbroken. You know where you want to go. You see who you want your passionate start with. You see. 
someone who's beautiful, strong, and healing, and loving, and gentle, and kind, and a freak in the fucking bed. They're comfortable in their skin. They walk around naked outside. They don't give a shit. That's who you want for your lover, for your partnership, your unexpected choice in love. And you're wanting to get that inspiration to move towards it. But you're realizing you got to move away from being a fucking dick. Being this narcissistic energy. Dick or bitch. Whatever the fuck it works. Guys, you got to move away from this energy. Because this energy don't win out. It doesn't work on everybody. Right? Not everybody thinks it's cute. It's not cute. Perhaps now, you're the one that's being left behind. You're seeing what it feels like to be dominated and left behind. You're seeing what it feels like when someone wields that sword and leaves your ass out in the fucking cold. When the player gets played. When the player gets played. Three of Pentacles in the reverse, five of Pentacles in the upright. You're not going to get a new star. Your ass going to be out in the cold for a little while. So you might as well just walk your ass into that church. Start doing some spiritual healing, okay? Maybe start praying for wisdom and guidance to not be a fucking asshole or a bitch and treat people like shit. Go ask God. Five of swords, five of pentacles here. Them five swords is going to cost you. Okay? So go into that church, get your ass healed, do the grounding work, do the healing you need to do, and move the fuck away from this narcissistic energy. Because it's not cute. Not everyone thinks it's cute. Not anyone worthwhile thinks it's cute. How about that? Eight of Pentacles in the upright, High Priestess in reverse. You know, you didn't trust your intuition when it told you you needed to work on a situation. You didn't trust your gut when it was telling you to put some time and effort towards something. You wouldn't listen when you were being guided to what would be a prosperous, very positive outcome. You didn't listen. Maybe you had friends and family telling you what the fuck to do, but you didn't listen. You were being told what you should have worked on. But you didn't listen. And because of that, you're going to lose the chance to get that offer back. The woulda, shoulda, coulda card. That's going to cost you in the end. You're going to lose this opportunity. You're going to lose it. And you lost it because of your own damn self. You lost it because you didn't put forth the work. You lost it because you didn't trust what the hell you were being told to do. You lost it because you were more interested in options than what you were actually building and creating something. Until it got to the point where the one that you wanted had turned the fuck cold and now you're getting your shit back. You are getting everything you put out back and you're not liking it. And that's why Spirit's saying, this ain't going to happen. You don't fucking deserve it. You can't play with people's emotions. You can't play with people and discard them at your fucking whim just because you want to feel like you have control. Don't work that way, Leo. Not everyone thinks it's cute. And the ones that do think it's cute aren't worth shit. And you're realizing that. So there you go. That spirit giving you the middle fucking finger right there. Or saying, hey, you know what? You done fucked yourself with this. You've lost the opportunity. You've lost the opportunity, kid. All because you wouldn't end something and move away from the toxic energy. You done pissed away the opportunity to make a love offer to someone who would have been perfect wifey material, beautiful, abundant. You pissed it away yourself. You pissed that away. You done fucked it up. Leo, you done fucked it up. Mm. Shame, 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 Leo. Shame, shame, shame.
Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light.